Ready to take your mobile filmmaking to the next level? For the first time ever, you can shoot professional raw video on your smartphone, truly maximizing the power of your mobile camera sensor. Here's how to do it and why it's such a big deal. What's up? I'm RJ Bukulo, filmmaker, comic book creator, and mental health ambassador, here to help empower you to tell better visual stories with the best filmmaking tips, tricks, and techniques. There have been some pretty amazing developments in the past few years when it comes to mobile filmmaking. The first one to me that really elevated smartphone filming into the professional realm was the ability to shoot in log video, thanks to apps like Filmic Pro. Shooting with log allows us to maximize the tonal range of the camera sensor with better dynamic range to work with, giving us more wiggle space to do color correction and grading. A little bit after that, Apple released 10-bit video recording capabilities on their iPhones through the Dolby Vision format, and Android phones also followed suit with HDR Plus recording. Essentially, 10-bit video allows even more color information to be captured compared to regular 8-bit SDR video. Again, this is a fantastic for post-production, particularly in the color grading department. And just recently, in a major development, Apple provided ProRes recording capabilities on the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. ProRes is one of those industry standard video formats that has significantly less compression and therefore higher image quality. Again, it's ideal for a professional filmmaking workflow, especially those who work with video compositing and VFX and of course, color grading. Now, for the first time ever, on an Android smartphone, you can shoot raw video in cinema DNG format using the completely free and open source Motion Cam app. Now, just a heads up, this is still a very experimental development. There's a few bugs and may not work on all smartphones, especially older ones. But if you check out the developer's GitHub page, they're constantly updating it to iron out those bugs and improve stability. Before we get into the app and show you how to record raw video, perhaps some of you are asking, what is raw video anyways? And does it even really matter to me? First off, shooting raw produces a video file that allows an unprecedented level of control in your image in post-production. When I was still a freelancer and I would do professional photography for events, I would capture my photos, not as a regular JPEG image file, but as a DNG raw file. When you shoot in JPEG, all your exposure settings like ISO and also white balance are baked in, meaning you have to get it perfect as much as possible in camera. And there's only so much you can do with the post-processing afterwards. But when working with raw images, the exposure, ISO, white balance, and all that are completely flexible and adjustable without breaking the image, so to speak. Same thing applies to raw video. In fact, Raw video is really just a sequence of raw images strung together to give the impression of movement. And that's what the Motion Cam app does. Essentially, the app captures a pure image directly from the camera sensor, bypassing your phone's Camera 2 API, which is responsible for all the image post-processing and compression. What you get is video quality that holds the whole RGB data, full color information, and dynamic range in every frame. Here's a sample from the developer's own channel that showcases the possibility of fully maximizing a sensor's dynamic range. First, you'll have to download the app installer. Since it's still very experimental, you won't find this version on the app on the Google Play Store. You'll have to go to the developer's GitHub page and download the APK file onto your phone. Oh, and yes, this is an Android-only app so far. Sorry, Apple shooters. There's a link in the description below of where to download the latest version. Once you've downloaded the APK file, you'll be prompted to install the app, and then once installed, 
The app will initially ask for permissions to use your camera, location, etc. Now that we're in the app, you can select raw video option on the bottom to enter the video recording mode and it will give you a warning that indeed this is still an experimental feature. On the top, you'll find some settings such as how much to crop from the sensor, frame rate, as well as resolution. On the bottom are your usual exposure and focus controls such as shutter speed, ISO, focal distance, as well as toggles for auto exposure, auto focus, auto white balance, and optical image stabilization. Now let's record some video. Once you have recorded your shots, you can click on the Manage Videos option on the top right and you'll see all your recorded sequences so far. Beside each sequence, you'll have to click Process, which will put it into a queue and get your footage ready for transferring and editing. Also note, the app is only able to do video capture, so there's no audio recording, at least as of yet. Connect your phone to your computer and download your DNG image sequence from the file directory you specified earlier. Do keep note that your footage will not be a single video file, but a folder with a sequence of still DNG images. It'll be up to your desktop editing software to make it into a video. You might be shocked to open up your image gallery on your phone and see an endless scroll of images. What I usually do is once I've transferred them to my computer hard drive, I just delete the directory on my phone. Now once you're in the editing software, import the entire sequence folder and it should automatically recognize it as a raw video. At least that was the case for me when using DaVinci Resolve. When you place the clip on your timeline, you may notice that the colors seem overblown. You have to calibrate the footage to the appropriate color space. Just go to the color workspace and click on the camera raw tab and you'll see all the settings you can apply to your raw footage. I changed the decode using the clip and then I choose black magic design for my color space and gamma. Now you have a nice flat image base for you to do further color adjustments. The strength of working with raw files is you have so much latitude to freely adjust exposure settings such as ISO, highlights and shadows without pushing the image to its limits. You just have to watch out for image noise levels when you are pushing it. The degree of control and the results are quite astounding. For example, in this sample footage, I shot late in the afternoon heading towards nighttime and was already very dark both in reality and in the viewfinder of the camera. But as soon as I put the footage through my editing software, I could almost turn night into day. In summary, shooting log video is getting the most tonal range out of your smartphone camera sensor. Shooting in 10-bit color is capturing even more color information from the sensor. Shooting in ProRes video format allows you to save the maximum bitrate and video quality from your sensor. Now, shooting in raw cinema DNG is getting everything that the sensor has to offer. Now that is a big deal. And hopefully other app developers like Filmic Pro, as well as film manufacturers like Apple and Samsung can develop this innovation even more. Something else to consider, just like ProRes recording, the ability to shoot raw video isn't for everybody, especially the ordinary user and consumer. The file sizes are just ridiculously huge and the process or workflow to edit your raw footage can be complicated. Also to the untrained eye, the final results might not even be that noticeable. But if you are serious about your filmmaking, having the freedom to capture raw cinema DNG video on your smartphone is another huge step of pushing mobile filmmaking further into the professional realm. More potential for creativity is unlocked, and like myself, as a growing filmmaker, you get to develop your skills and workflow, which is a great preparation for further industry professional work down the line. Hey, if you found value in this video, please do help support the algorithm by hitting the like button or subscribe to my channel to see more awesome content like this. Until next time, reframe your mind.